Hi, welcome to lesson seven in the series of eight zero five one microcontroller programming and interfacing. In this video, we can we will talk about input input port programming of eight zero five one microcontroller. That means we will learn how to check uh, real world data inside the microcontroller and perform certain op operations based on that. So. Further, you can also visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also download various codes and you can also visit the web page of this lecture on the same website. So let's start. As we discussed, uh, all the ports of the 8051 microcontroller can act as an input and act as an output. So in our previous video, we learned how an input port can act as an output port. So, in the sense, uh, uh, output port means uh, we transfer data from microcontroller to real world or outside the microcontroller. In input sense, we transfer data from world to microcontroller and based on that we can perform certain operations so in this case several sensor information button information several other things are required uh, which, uh, which are needed to perform certain tasks so in microcontroller uh, there are, uh, are several things which you need to know uh, first uh, in order to make any pin as input port we need to write ff to that pins that means all the pins needs to be set in status high mode uh, then those pins will work as uh, input pins and if we write 0, 0 to all those pins all those pins act as a uh, output pins uh, this is fine so let's take uh, with an example and further uh, the most common instruction which we'll be using here, uh, J and B. This instruction again is a jump instruction, and it says jump if not bit. So if we are saying any bit is here, suppose we write 1.0, so for pin 0 or port 1, so it is a bit. So if this is uh, 0, then it will jump to the designated location. If this bit is 1, then it will go to the next instruction to get it. So, this thing should be remembered. So, now let's uh, take an example, uh, then it will be very clear. So, let's uh, we have a switch uh, which is connected to this 8051 microcontroller, and the uh, connection of the switch is like uh, uh, here it is VCC. And it is like uh, this one, and then here it is ground. And uh, in between, we have connected a push button. Or say there is some resistance of one kilo, and this particular pin is connected to the P uh, one point zero, the microcontroller. So what will happen? As soon as this is the switch, as soon as, so as soon as we press the switch, zero will go there. And when switch is not set, plus one will go there. Okay. Now our program is uh, in our last program we said okay we have connected eight LEDs to the port one, so we'll move in the same direction. So we have connected LEDs to port two, to port eight LEDs are connected to port two. So this is P two point zero to P two point. So when switch is pressed, that means when SW equals to zero. When switch is pressed, the data at pin 1.0 will be zero. These LEDs should be alternate pins. LED alternate. And when this switch is equal to one, normal on off. This LED should uh, blink like normal on off. So our program is if switch is pressed, which is connected to P1.0, uh, if the switch is pressed, 
all the LEDs should blink alternatively. The switch is not pressed. All the LEDs should uh, simply blink on and off. So if we go for the uh, normal uh, flowchart kind of thing, so it will be like we will check jump on bit P1.0. So if the switch is pressed, this pin will become zero. So it will go to the next iteration and if bit is not set then it will jump so we will jump here and at here uh, we will write alternate program alternate blink program and at the end of the alternate blink program we will make it jump back to here okay so as jump because uh, this thing needs to be done continuously so by this program it is continuously monitoring the even whether it is set set and if this bit is not set i say is uh, it is one then uh, uh, if this is one uh, normal on off will uh, normal on off program will work So I hope you understand how to write a program. If this uh, particular bit is set, that means at p 1.0, if uh, zero is there, right? Then alternate blinking will function, and if one is there, normal one of the switch. And to make it one and zero, we have connected a switch. So now let's uh, open our team, and then let's see how to write a program. So we have returned already. We'll check it again. We have done all the parts, created a new project, added uh, the same action file, hex file is being generated. All the things have been done. We will just write uh, our program here. So, first org00h. So, our switch is connected to port P1.0. So, we'll set this pin in order to make it as an input pin. So the set bit command is used to make our pin as input pin, and then we'll write jump on not bit. Uh, similarly, jump on not is also uh, command jump on bit. So uh, its function will be just reverse of it. Generally. So jump on bit p 1.0. So it should jump alternate. So if the uh, bit is not set, that means zero is present at the end. Uh, alternate blinking with the program should be done. So we go to alternate level and then here we we'll pass from move P2 because LEDs are connected to P2 and in order to make uh, blink them alternatively, 5, 5 and some other pro uh, A, A, A should send there. Uh, and uh, you can visit, uh, you can see a uh, previous uh, lesson. In order to uh, make an analogy between this, uh, how to make this alternate blinking program. Now, delay should be called, obviously. If delay is not there, uh, we won't be able to see uh, whether uh, LEDs are blinking or not. Again, delay. And then, as we empty, again. So it should go again. Uh, now, if bit is set, the normal on off. So, for normal on off, uh, simply FF and 00, zero should be transferred. A for delay, then move P2, comma, hash, 00, zero H, and A for delay. And again, again, again. So, don't forget this again, otherwise, uh, 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 next program will run. So it is uh, like making it a uh, infinite loop in assembly. Now we'll call delay subroutine. So in delay, we remember from our previous R2, um, comma, pass 04H, and then here 2, move R1, comma, pass 255. 
and then says one move as looking at s255 and then here and then do the end that are you comma okay and then do the end that are one comma here one i think five two and then do the end that are two comma here and then returning from this service routine and then e and n and the end of the service this one so uh, let's have a look how this function is working it is checking the status of the pin 1.0 so if status of the pin 1.0 that means if one is present there it will not jump and it will move to i will run this program and if uh, the switch as we have uh, discussed in our last time so, uh, connection of the switches they are done we test the switch ground is connected so when switch is pressed zero will be there so it will jump and led is connected to port to will blink in alternate fashion so now let's see the uh, program is fine okay it shows zero error and let's debug it and uh, let's make uh, some peripherals uh, we are using peripheral 1 and peripheral 2 okay so try now I uh, will run one by one. So it's better set. So I'll jump to the this instruction. Now let's make it zero. Okay. It has jumped to the alternate fashion. Now I will do the blink alternate. Fashion. So this is fine. Now let's uh, stop debugging. So we have the uh, check. Okay, our program is fine. So let's check the same on this uh, Proto software and uh, once more verify like uh, how it will work on uh, real hardware. So let's say here eight nine two five one. I see. Proto. So now we need some LEDs. Uh, then like last time, LED. So let's say we have red LED. Yeah. Mm, we'll use some LEDs. Nearly four LEDs will do so that our uh, function like same. And we will connect a switch. If we have a switch, the push button was instead uh, uh, of the switch. So here, this push button. Okay, let's rotate it. Mm, okay, I rotate anti-clockwise. Now let's place terminal ground. Connect LED and then we can press the push button. And again, place uh, power. Okay. Now let's connect them and hope everything is fine. Connected and we keep on zero zero two. This LED, this LED, and one will be zero two. Now, so we have used only four LEDs, and the red stage is restricted just for the symbolic purpose. Okay, now. Let's put the hex file which we have generated. Now um, our hex file is here. There our hex file is. This one. Okay. 
So all the LEDs are on because right now one is there. Now press it. Now LEDs are blinking alternately. Because fun zero is there. So I hope it's fine. You understand? Now again all the LEDs are going. So this is a very good software to just simulate uh, like a real hardware. And if you can make a complete uh, development board um, diagram on it, that will be really good. And that's it. All the LEDs are blinking alternately. The program is working fine. Let's stop it and see as to the real hardware. So we have connected our real hardware as we discussed in our last one. So here it is switch uh, which is connected via this cable to the uh, P1.0K and uh, this Arduino is connected to the uh, pins of this uh, 8-5P as we have discussed in last class in order to program this particular and this is the switch so when we press the switch uh, this pin will connect to the ground so now let's run the program Open software and connect, and then identify. Okay, and then open hex file. That means seven hex. Open it, and then so everything is fine. Our uh, data will start uploading. Uh, so the program will start uploading on the IC. Let's see how it works. Let's wait till it finishes. So it's very easy uh, working with this Arduino in assembly language program. In our upcoming videos, we'll talk about uh, embedded C program and how to write the same program in embedded C. Because when we write C complex program, so that embedded C is much more easier than the uh, assembly. So benefit of the assembly is uh, like uh, uh, we can constrain the space, we can space the space by individually counting how many bytes actually we need. It will be done. So right now, these are all the LEDs are on and off. The switch is not pressed. As soon as we press the switch, LEDs are blinking alternately. So I hope this fine. And switch is there again. All the LEDs are blinking just on F now, and as soon as it press the switch, LEDs are blinking. Okay. This is how our normal code works. So we have verified our programming, a function of programming to the debugging mode, to further software simulation, and from the hardware as well. So I hope you learn like uh, how to do programming. Especially using by programming in uh, in of file nothing. So there are several other small projects uh, which you can do. So a uh, simple one is like uh, buzzer program. So idea is uh, you have connected a switch and suppose we 1.0. And you have a buzzer after some buffer IC uh, that is sent for LS04, and then you have a buzzer here. The buzzer is like this, so you will check some sound. So you can try a program. Uh, so as soon as you press the switch, this position goes on, and it's not that the buzzer should goes off. 
So this is a simple program you can make. We will uh, also do some other programs uh, in our next upcoming video. We will try to interface uh, the IR sensor uh, uh, to this 805 and 9 controller. And based on that IR sensor, we will try to again, because we want to display it, so we will use the help of this LED in order to show how to change this IR sensor, what is the working of the management also. So, more interesting videos and more interesting small projects are there in upcoming videos. So, stick to the lesson and learn. So, uh, in case of any query or related to a uh, problem uh, you have faced while programming it, you can comment, uh, comment, uh, uh, you can comment below this video. For the, uh, as far as the programming is concerned, you can, there are several other programmers as well for programming this is 9 x 2 apart from Arduino. So, we find Arduino as a suitable purpose what we were having here. So, if you don't have this Arduino, no need to uh, rush for the purchasing it. You can go for some other USB SP programmer as well for programming this is 9 x 2 system. Okay. So, that's it for this video. Thank you.